I bet you've edited videos before and know how tricky selecting transitions can be, but don't worry, I've got you covered. In fact, I'm excited to show you five awesome transitions that can add some serious flair to your videos. Best part? They are all super quick and easy to learn, just five minutes and you're good to go. The first effect will be quite artistic and unusual, I call it eating. To create it, we'll need to prepare a few pictures in advance, similar to the ones I've already created. The primary color should be green and the secondary color should be red. By using green on a red background, we can create the illusion of bites. The result might be a bit cartoon-ish, but that's part of the charm. In each subsequent picture, we'll gradually increase the amount of green until it covers the entire screen. I've made only four pictures, but feel free to make more. To create the effect, import all the pictures and background videos into the mobile video editor. We'll start by creating a separate video of our effect. Simply drag all of your pictures onto the timeline and arrange them in order you want them to appear. The timeline is user-friendly and allows you to easily organize clips within the project, split them into multiple tracks and link or unlink them as you want. You can edit manually using scissors and drag and drop, plus the program also provides options for automation. The next step is to specify the duration of each frame. In my case, since I only have four frames, I want a fast animation. I will set the duration to 0.2 seconds once you've set the duration, check the result and export it. Now clear the timeline and move on to the next step. You need to drag the first video onto the timeline, followed by the second video. Place the second video on the bottom track and our effect video on the top track. To remove the red color, click on more tools, then chroma key and use the eyedropper to select the red color. The program will automatically remove it, leaving only the green. To simplify the process, I suggest exporting the file immediately, but the final step Add the newly exported file to the top track and the second source video to the bottom track. To remove the green color, repeat the process by clicking on more tools, chroma key, and selecting the green color with the eyedropper. And that's it! The effect is now ready. If you'd like, you can add a sound effect of bites, but it's not necessary. Overall, I think this effect looks funny and is perfect for some non-serious food videos. The second transition effect will be even easier to implement, but will most likely require editing a video script in advance. In this effect, we'll follow the movement of the hands of the clock. To get started, you will need the same two videos with a clock and with a round pizza. I choose pizza because of its shape and its relevance to cooking videos. To create this effect, start by importing your source files, then create an additional video track and place the clock video on it. Place the pizza video on the bottom track, go to the transition section and select radial CW. Drag it to the track with the clock and adjust the duration to match the speed of the clock hands. This effect is easy to implement and looks great in cooking videos. I got lucky with a watch video, it shows exactly one turn of the minute hand. And the dynamics are almost perfectly preserved when increasing the transition duration. The only thing I don't like is the watch's size compared to the pizza, but that's an easy fix. Just go to more tools, crop and rotate, and manually increase the size of the clock. It might take a few tries, but you will get it. The resulting transition effect is perfect for showing the cooking process, one turn of the clock, and the dish is ready. For an even cooler effect, try filming the cooking process from above and the transition will show the passage of time. If you've seen our other videos, you are probably familiar with Movavi Unlimited. It's the perfect program for beginners who want to edit videos and create animations. Movavi Unlimited is an affordable and user-friendly platform that offers a variety of video editing tools. With Movavi Unlimited, you get access to nine different programs, including video editing, photo editing, screen recording, and file conversion. Plus, you will have unlimited access to the effects store for one year. And now there is a special opportunity to try the program at a great price. Get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up, an 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off. So don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't wanna miss. Oh man, I'm 
sure you will love the third effect. It's funny and silly, but definitely worth trying. Let's turn a video of a smiling person into a painting in a museum. Import your video and a prepared picture to the editor. Create two video tracks and place the full video on top and the last few seconds on the bottom. Slow down those few seconds as much as possible by double-clicking the file and changing the speed from 100 to 10. Now apply a brush transition to the top video and the oil painting effect to the bottom video from the effects menu. That's it! You've got a magical painting video. To create the painting effect, we'll need to place a pre-prepared picture on the top track. To do this, go to more tools, chroma key, and click on the green one to get a transparent picture. The painting should appear slightly after the transition to the paint effect. Adding animation to the picture will make the effect more dynamic and interesting. Animations in Movavi Unlimited are an amazing tool for creating motion in a video, especially for editing YouTube videos. You can set motion to titles, stickers, overlays, create original intros and special effects whatever you want. To add an animation, go to the animation section, select advanced and click add keyframe. Two keyframes will appear on the timeline. In the first keyframe, we need to maximize the image until the video fits entirely in the transparent area so that the camera seems to move away. Next, play around with the timings a bit and you will achieve a similar effect. It's a great way to spice up any footage. For an even cooler effect, try recording a video in a new location with a photo frame. This will create the illusion that you are turning into an oil painting and the camera is flying out of the picture until you are alive and unharmed in the frame at the maximum distance. It's a bit like recursion, don't you think? To implement the fourth transition, you may need to consider the structure of your video, but I believe it's easy to create. The effect will give the impression of the camera flying through multiple opening doors until it reaches the destination, making it ideal for travel videos. First, search and download videos of opening doors or shoot similar footage yourself. Import the videos into the program and create additional video tracks. In my example, I use four tracks in total. Next, add a video to each track and remove chroma key from H1. If you know what to do. Go to more tools, then chroma key and pick the green color. After that, make sure the opening of each door coincides with the camera's movement. While my videos already have motion effects, you may have to work with keyframes. On the lowest track, add the main video that will be moving towards. That's the basic idea, but there are a few more details to address. For starters, in my case, the doors open too quickly in all the videos. To fix this, we can slow the video down by 10 times, remove the first frame, and then duplicate it to create a frozen frame effect. Another issue that I faced was the lack of camera movement in the last video with the elevator doors. I will add motion to the video by going to animations, advanced, add keyframe. For the second keyframe, I will zoom in on the video until it fits into the transparent area. That's it! Now we have the desired effect. Shooting beautiful doors yourself can make this effect even cooler. What do you think? And the last effect will be also quite unusual. Remember those old Tom and Jerry cartoons? This one's a throwback to them. To get started, we'll need to import two videos and place them on the timeline. Then create a second video track and search for the cartoon bomb sticker in the sticker section. Once you find it, move it to the timeline. Now it's time to add some movement to the sticker. Go to the animations tab, select advanced and click add keyframe. I want the bomb to jump out of the frame and bounce off the edge of the screen. So I will create the necessary keyframes and specify the position and size of the sticker for each. Okay, halfway there. Now we need to add a wide image to the second video track. Fortunately, Movavi Video Editor has got you covered. Simply click the plus sign and choose backgrounds, then select white. Next, add the flash transition to the beginning and the end of the white image on the timeline to create the flash effect. Adjust the duration of the animation and transition as needed. For an even better effect, try adding another sticker such as boom to the newly created second track with text. Once it's properly fitted and synchronized, you will have a fresh and original transition that works well in any video. As you can see, creating your own transitions is easy, especially when you do it with Movavi Unlimited. The software package offers a huge number of possibilities for creating such transitions, so try to come up with something of your own. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.